When the oldest house was first discovered, Director Northmore and his research team ventured deep into the foundation of the structure. It was there, at the crossroads, that the service weapon presented itself to the new director. It appeared on a pedestal before a monolithic structure that became known as the Nail. Dr. Ash refers to the energies that converge upon the Nail as non-Aristotelian. Aristotelian logic is based upon a binary logic system. That is to say that things are either true or false, good or bad, existent versus non-existent. This is the logic generally used in modern times. But the energies converging on the nail were described by Theodore Ash as non-Aristotelian. This mode of logic includes seven parts as compared to the two-part Aristotelian system. With this model, the nature of something can be unknown. It also allows for multiple conclusions to be true at once, such as in Schrodinger's cat. Within the context of the nail, we must look at definitions of reality as that is what Dr. Ash is describing. In regards to the energy that converges on the nail, Dr. Ash is likely saying that the energy exists, but the exact nature of what it is is not able to be determined. Within the Foundation DLC, the damage to the nail caused the astral plane to bleed through. This implies a connection between the oldest house and the astral plane. What is a nail after all? It is an object that binds things together. This non-Aristotelian nail binds the astral plane to the oldest house, and as Pope states, with a broken connection, the pipe begins to leak. This makes it even more interesting that the nail is located at the crossroads. This is, after all, a place where two forms of reality cross paths. The symbolism does not end here. Another data point jumped out to me upon hearing the name of the structure. The sixth letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Vav. It is used grammatically to bind two concepts together. Vav can mean the hook or the nail, depending on the translation. In this case, the meaning is identical. The Vav binds the oldest house and the astral plane. As Vav is the sixth letter, there are other comparisons made to the number six. The sixth day of creation within Genesis was represented by Yesod and involves the creation of the first man. Dr. Ash even names one of the id, Adam. Throughout the Foundation DLC, comparisons between the Tree of Life and the Oldest House are openly discussed. This provides a link to the topic we have just gone over. On the Kabbalistic Tree of Life, the ninth Sephirah is Yesod and literally means the Foundation. It is said to be the foundation from which God built the world and acts as a transmitter for the Sephirah above to be filtered down to the tenth node, Malkuth. Malkuth means the kingdom and is the plane of manifest reality. Let's sum up and bring it back to the nail in the crossroads. Much like the Hebrew letter Vav, the nail binds the astral plane and the oldest house together. Just as Vav is the sixth letter, the sixth day of creation in Genesis is represented by Yesod. This is the foundation of reality which also acts as the filter between that which is above and the manifest world represented by Malkuth. I use the word filter intentionally here because it leads us into the final data point related to the nail. For anyone familiar with tarot, the sixth card is represented by the letter Vav and has symbolism related to the link between the heavens and the world. That would be the Hierophant. The Hierophant acts as the mouthpiece between God or a higher consciousness to the ears of humans. This would be the same role as the board. There are non-Aristotelian energies that cannot be understood by us. So the board attempts to translate them in the form of archetypes and links those energies with objects such as the service weapon. Within the foundation of the world, the nail is erected over the crossroads of reality. The board plays the role of the Hierophant, using this connection and translates these energies into a form we can understand. By the end of the foundation DLC, Jesse begins to question the board and their motives. This can be explained by the Hierophant as well. When the card is drawn upright, it represents spiritual guidance and knowledge. In other words, the way the board wants us to perceive them. However, much like the Black Pyramid, when it is drawn inverted, it represents the corruption of the Hierophant. That would be dogmatic teachings, indoctrination, and inflexible thinking. When we put our blind faith in the Hierophant, we follow their words as gospel. 
we do not question whether the mouthpiece is telling us the truth or lying to us. The board acts as a collection of hierophants who govern the director and the oldest house. When the nail was broken, the board was terrified. This is because their role was to be the mouthpiece between humans and the non-Aristotelian energies found within the astral plane. So when that connection was opened and the two planes were open for travel, their role was threatened. They go so far as to threaten Pope, telling Jesse if the researcher does not cease and desist her investigation into the nail, they will end her. The board ordered Director Northmore to abandon all research within the Foundation and the nail, giving the same instructions to Director Faden. The reason this research was abandoned was because the board feared that if the research continued and the FBC gains a better understanding of the world, that the board would be obsolete. Like the Hierophant, the board's only power is to be the middleman between the FBC and the wisdom to be found within higher tiers of reality. Dr. Ash and Dr. Pope both wish to tear down the middleman and have direct access. Researching the mysteries of the nail and the foundation would have facilitated this. So what is the nail? It is a structure erected by the board in order to create a link to the foundation. Since the oldest house acts as the world tree, it links to all thresholds of reality. This puts the board in a position to guide the director as a corrupted hierophant, and by extension, control all of reality. But what if one of the hierophants did not agree with the rest? We know that the former was fired from the board for a difference in opinion. Could this have been it? It has been teased that Dr. Ash and the former may have developed a relationship. Within Dr. Ash's secret lab, a smaller version of the nail could be found which could potentially be related to the former directly. Was the former giving Dr. Ash more direct information? When the nail was broken, I wonder what all leaked out of the astral plane. The path was opened, allowing many things to go in and out of the breach, unchecked. We see the former within the foundation at the end of the story. Is it possible that the former slipped out from the astral plane into the oldest house before the nail was repaired? If so, we have a question. If the board is the inverted, corrupted Hierophant, then is the former the upright, pure Hierophant? This corrupted archetype tells only lies, while the pure one tells truths. All we know is that right now, Jesse does not trust either faction. Without more information, I suggest we do the same. After all, it is always in our benefit to not blindly follow any Hierophant, no matter what form they take. We must always question those who speak on behalf of others. Trust, but verify.